Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 1.9. Today's lesson is problem solving with multiplication and division. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to use the strategy solve a simpler problem. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's dive into our lesson by reading the Unlock the Problem. It says, Mark works at an animal shelter. To feed nine dogs, Mark empties eight 18 ounce cans of dog food into a large bowl. If he divides the food equally among the dogs, how many ounces of food will each dog get? As always, when we have a word problem, let's start by finding the question. Our question is usually at the very end. How many ounces of food will each dog get? And let's also locate our numbers in this problem. We have nine dogs. We have eight 18 ounce cans. And we need to decide what to do with those numbers. So if he has eight 18 ounce cans, we're going to multiply those two numbers, but then it also says we're going to divide to figure out how much each one of the nine dogs get. So let's start with figuring out what we need to find. We need to find how many, this is our question, many ounces, I'm going to abbreviate ounces of food each dog will get. Our next section says what information do I need to use? It says I need to use the number of blank, the number of blank in each can, and the number of dogs that need to be fed. If we look back at our number, the number of dogs that need to be fed is 9. So we've used that in our information. So now we have the number 8 and the number 18. 18 is the number of ounces in each can. So our second line must be the number of ounces in each can, which means that we also need to know how many cans we have. So I need to use the number of cans the number of ounces of each can, and the number of dogs that need to be fed. Our next box says, how will I use this information? So we can blank to find the total number of ounces. So remember, when we very first started this, we said that we would have to take the 8 and the 18 and multiply them together to see how much there was total. So our first line is, I can multiply. And then we need to take that and we need to split it up by how many dogs there are. So it says, then I can solve a simpler problem to divide by 9. Now that we know what we're going to do, let's solve the problem. It says, first multiply the number of ounces of dog food. So we have 18 ounces in each can and we have eight cans. So eight times eight is 64, and eight times one is eight, plus six is 14. So we get the answer 144. Our next step says to find the number of ounces each dog is going to get, to get, I will divide. In order to divide this number, I could do 144 divided by 9. But before we do that, let's look at our quotient and break it down into easier parts. So if we look at 144, we've split it into 90 and something. And we picked 90 because 90 is divisible by 9. So if I had 144, I'm going to erase so I have more space. If I picked 144, and I used 90, then I could subtract 144 minus 90. 4 minus 0 is 4. 9 minus 4 we have to borrow. So 14 minus 9 is 5. So we get 90 and 
54. And the nice thing about that is that 54 is also divisible by 9. So we think of our partial quotients. I've picked two numbers that are divisible by 9, and now I can divide in small chunks. So 90 divided by 9, well that means 90, just rewriting, divided by 9, that's 10. And then 54, again, rewriting, divided by 9 is 6. And then I can add my two partial quotients, 10 plus 6, and I get the answer 16. So each dog is going to get 16 ounces of food. Let On the side, let's divide with the traditional method and see if we get the same number. So I have 1... 44 divided by 9. 9 goes into 14 one time, which is 9. 14 minus 9 is 5. Bring down the 4. 9 goes into 54 six times, which is 54. No remainder. So we get the same answer. So we can do it a partial products way, or we can do it with the traditional method. But by breaking it down in small parts, it allows us to do the math mentally. Great job! All right, fifth graders, ready for our lesson activity. Today's lesson activity says, fill in the blanks to solve. We are going to be using the partial quotients method, like we just talked about, solving a simpler problem in order to solve this division. So you can see that I've started this for you. I've broken down 125 into 100 and something. So we know that that first blank is going to be 25 because 100 plus 25 equals 125. Then I've gone and I've divided 100 by 5. So now that means I need to divide my 25 by 5. Then I'm going to take those two products and add them together to get my total answer. I've gotten you started. You finish up the rest in your math notebook. Be prepared to show your teacher your solved problem. Great job on your flip lesson today.